Let us open to the book of Lamentation chapter 1, verse 1. Or Shegene, what does he say? Well, let's find out. Watch this video. <laughs> Let me tell you that I'm an APC man or that I voted for Tinibu. We don't have special police station as an APC man. Yes. Where I will go and buy fuel. Unofficially. Yes. We don't have APC. Or, do, you, do you have any APC? Or no, 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 no. So it's a toll generally on everybody. And the sooner we'll be. We we'll just keep silence. Say, let me say we don't know what to go do. I beg, Jagaban or Jagaban or Jagaban waiting. I beg. I beg. Bring the subs. See, in fact, eh? This subsidy, where you Carry remove, your face off. I bet put them back here. Yeah? Put this subsidy back. He won't collect money where he spend. He not give me money. Oh. I not chop anything. No. He won't collect money. Won't collect money. I beg. Listen to Nigerians. I think they say he get money. Bring out your money now. Bring your money now. Use them. Help Nigerians. Jagaban. They say he get money. Be Jagaban for everywhere. Bring your money. Help Nigerians. Nigerians are dying. Mm. When the woman begin to collect, shoot gun. You can begin shoot gun. Oh, with the vest. Oh. This fuel subsidy eh, is a typical uh, confirmation that we have made the greatest mistake in history. And the only way to go about it is by correcting it now that somebody has not lost his life, his mental faculty, and probably his loved ones. This vehicle you see here has eaten 15,000 naira fuel yesterday afternoon till now. Nothing remains inside the tank again because I want to vote party. It's not done that way. Let us live up to expectations because you can't tell us that the white people brought politics and we are playing it more than them. Mm. It is wrong. So any person that sees what we are passing through as a normalcy, the person doesn't have anything upstairs. Mm. Let us fight this fight as people that have brains. Okay. You understand? I'm an equity guy from Obia, but, but I'm suffering the penury instead of enjoying my fatherland properly. Let me ask you, sir, do you vote Jagaban? Vote who? I didn't vote Jagaban, okay. but I knew that the system would have been hijacked. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't bother myself to come out and even vote. Are you saying that this is the worst administration so far? The worst in the history. Every matters. The government are just, in short, they are just squeezing life out of their citizens. Currently now, eh, waiting that they see for this country, like Jagba.com. Anybody will get away, Jagba, even if that the least Gambia, I whip for Nigeria. Yesterday I was goggling. I was goggling and I whipped for Nigeria. Imagine Gambian dollars. Gambian dollars, their currency is one Gambia dollars is to 13.24 13 13 naira. Meaning that we are gone in this country, we are dead. All these small, small countries around us are getting dominion over us because of what? Bad government, bad leadership. And yet, some people are still supporting the government. They are sending us to have patience. Patience on what? Bam. Those are Nigerians lamenting. That goes a long way to tell you that all many religion, tribe, where I they come from. Now my person, he no go save anybody. We are all in this shit together. I mean, they give anybody APC uh, ATM so that if you don't reach a police station, you can present and say, ah, I'm a member of the it is APC. Uh, they go search if I give you. I know now. No, no, no. No, the hardship is for everybody. Uh -huh. So you can find out from the lamentation you just watched. Uh -huh. The last speaker we talk inside that lamentation. When I hear what him talk, he said, "Look, all these small, small countries where they are around us. See Gambia Dallas, he high past Nigeria own. Cameroon, uh, whatever they call their currency, he don't high. All our neighboring countries, including Ghana, he don't high. Everybody don't. <laughs> they don't use Nigeria now. They shine based on currency. So if you own our naira now, naira are nothing compared to our neighboring uh, countries." Uh -huh. Uh, that is all we subscribe for now. No, be waiting to subscribe for. And I want to subscribe for. <laughs> See, uh, during that time, we they do what they call this uh, uh, Naira redesign. When Naira scars everywhere. Now, governors come outside, they shout. They shout, yeah, no! Our people are suffering. Government must review this policy. No, no, no. We will not al allow this. Most of them said we are flouting the orders of the federal government. Every five flouted the orders of the federal government. Italian people say many they use the old naira. Say not to shell it. Any people who collect, I say you go shut them down. They go collect their sea of O. Now the ginger who they use that time, they fight governments because see, the policy they affect them. <laughs> now where this uh, fuel don't be like this way, everything don't skyrocket inside markets. Which governor don't come outside follow on a talk? Say no, government must review this policy. Which governor? 
Because they know what they stand to gain. Do you want to find out what the governor stand to gain? I won't reveal them now. You know, say me, I know the hide mouth. I won't reveal what the governor stand to gain in all of this controversy surrounding fuel subsidy removal. Do you want to find out? I'm going to listen to this forum of progressive governors. We are hopeless and sorry, hopeless are my governor of Imo State be the chairperson. Uh -huh. Listen to what in the talk inside this video. I won't play for you. I'm going to watch. As it has to do with the controversial uh, social media posting of our upcoming FAC, we are aware that the result of the removal of petroleum subsidy will increase the vol volume of money that will be received by us during the Federation Account meeting. And we are working with the federal government to ensure that the process of that FAC will be utilized in a manner that the citizens of the country are happy, the labor happy, we also, the practitioners happy, and also the economy of the country will be protected, our economic managers supported to ensure that our solvency margin is not to tamper with in the international market, instead it will be improved upon. So what has happened is something that we should be uh, happy about. The current hardship occasioned by the uh, price increase on both food, petroleum products, and cost of living is being addressed. The subnational government is working with the federal government, and tomorrow there will be National Economic Council to discuss further on that, as to dot the I and cross the T. Hopeless, those are them my inside. Hope, those are them. My, why are they called hopeless? <laughs> Hope, those are them my inside that video. Uh, the one we call the, the, the Supreme Court Governor. Now, only one thing you're supposed to speak from that video. You're not supposed to speak another thing from that video. Him talk inside that video, say, very soon they will have the Federation uh, account session. Uh -huh. There now, they will know how much each of them will collect as per state allocation, as in allocation from the federal government to the states. Uh, say as they don't come out this first subsidy, say the allocation where they supposed to get supposed to be up, is supposed to be high. So they are expecting high state allocation from the federal government. So uh, maybe rise by 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 fifty percent or even hundred percent. Now the only thing where they they consign, what does that tell you? More money to them, not to the state. More money to them. State allocation now now there now they wanna go see looting. That's the only federal government. Too. Now, now I go see looting of the looting of the highest order. That is why they are not talking because they don't say this money will not come out now. <laughs> it go enter where? It go enter their state allocation. From there, they go loot, 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 and loot. For me to further buttress this point, since when they come out this first subsidy, government don't come and tell us where this money where they come out from first subsidy, which they go carry and do. They never tell us. So they are just telling us uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Where is the tunnel? We don't know where the tunnel is. They are telling us uh, we, should, they are, uh, we, should, we should take these baby steps of pain. The money where you won't come out from this fuel subsidy, where you won't put a make you know, say, uh, this is where the money is going. Nobody has said anything. They never tell us, say, uh, as they don't save 400 billion, you understand, from fuel subsidy removal so far. Say, they won't put a missile refinery to make sure that by six months one refinery is working. They never tell us where this money won't go. And that is the annoyance of Nigeria. So we are suffering for nothing. Where is this money going to? They never tell us. But thank God for the progressive governors. They don't expose them for that video. Say they go add them to the state allocation. Which state allocation? The ones where your governors they receive what they do they account for. So it's more looting. When I tell you, it's looting promise that we subscribe to with this fuel subsidy removal under this regime. Just take it. I don't prove I'm beyond every reasonable doubt. If you know what belief, no belief, you know consign me. Now that same governor, which are the progressive governors, uh, hopeless and hopeless are them of uh, Imo states. That same governor. That same governor, what do they call Supreme Court governor? He is not a permanent resident in Abuja. The job where they give him to govern the people. Now Abuja now they live. When I don't say since when they swear in Tinubu as the president of this country, praise um, governor of Imo State, hopeless was the make I come call hopeless was the man. He has only spent five days 
in his state. Since when they swear in Tinubu, he does spend only five days inside Imo state. And I wonder they hear all those chaos, all those things when they happen, their killings and all that, because there is nobody on ground as commander in chief. If they leave Abuja here, they administer in state, Imo state. Make I prove I give now. If you get one guy, we go talk now. I will play the video. In them, I go see him watch you. I hear me. Though he's a PDP member, but he said something. He said, Go and fact check me. Go and check what I'm about to say now. Go and check it. That was what the guy said. Go check him. See if I am lying. Uh -huh. I beg. Make we listen to this Gozie Mwachuku, a chieftain of the PDP inside the state. I'm going to watch. Imo has been abandoned by the governor. The governor is no longer resident in the state. The man is in Abuja. So what happens is that once there's a security challenge, there's nobody to come out to restore confidence to speak to the people. You're a member of the PDP and perhaps that's why you're saying that's how do you know for a fact okay. that your governor doesn't reside in Imo state? Suleiman, during the seven days that there was a seat at home in the Southeast. There was a meeting held by Southeast leaders. What did that meeting hold? It held there in Abuja, at the instance of Anhez in Dibo. What was that? And that meeting was chaired by our own governor in Abuja here. <laughs> Should that meeting be holding in Abuja? That's a Southeast meeting. The governor of Enugu State is in Enugu. He's there, restoring confidence in the people. Suleiman, the challenge is that in Imo today, there is a collapse of the face of governance in terms of security. Okay, let me give you an example. Look at what is happening in Ukraine today. You can see the hands-on approach of Zelensky. Even his presence restores some measure of confidence in the masses, in the troops. But when the people feel like, oh, they'll be left to their fate, even the man constitutionally given the responsibility to ensure that the security of lives and property is assured in that state, the man is not there. Suleiman, I'm telling you, and I want to be challenged. Bola Tinibu was sworn in May 29th. Between May 29th and today, the governor has spent only five days in Imo State. Five days. He came back. How do you know this for sure? The governor came back. He left the state went for the swearing of the president who only reappeared on the day the state assembly was being inaugurated by monday he was off again he came back on he came back on saturday when he was doing when he was presenting something he called the emo uh, uh, law report by sunday when this apc national chairman was being removed the man reappeared in abuja how do i know this again the statement he issued, go and check all the statements he has issued in the last one month. They have all been from Abuja here. The latest is the one he issued yesterday, where he said that the APC governors and the federal government are working out palliatives and measures to try to... That, that statement, is he the Minister of Finance? Is he the Minister of Economic Planning? What is he doing here? Are other governors here? The other ones are in their states, taking care of business. Him talk and pop and plane. He, 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 he said, Governor, is there for this day too? And he can't. He says, It's when he swear in. We go for the travel, come out. He come back, come swear in the state executive council. On Monday, he will come out. The next time, what is some? Now, when they want to do something, one law, law, something, something inside the state. Now he return. Pia, he move again. <laughs> Now, so don't move, and now it don't enter Abuja. Since where the where this the national chairman come out from office, uh, this uh, Abdullah Yadam as a result of in Abuja now this is that time. See now only five days this guy does spent inside the state. State will be seen him the administer as the chief executive officer, CEO. Now Abuja is there. So all of them now their eyes are on that federal allocation. Where go? Where they go increase because they don't come for subsidy. Looting more money. Things no go bad. See, I've always said it. Whatever that these guys bring on board, with go use one eye look at. He don't get anything to favor the poor masses. Now for them. 
All those governors where they cry during that uh, removal of uh, uh, that uh, uh, Naira redesign. Where are they? Okay, some of them don't come out. Okay, the new ones will enter because they follow cry that time. Where did they? They are not speaking again. All of a dull, all of a sudden, they have gone dumb. Nobody will talk anything again because they know that federal allocation is coming, and it will be like fifty hundred percent increase from what they were receiving before. So more money to be looted. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much, I beg. Uh -huh. I will say on tomorrow. I'm gonna buy.